Hello Aquarius, we're going to be doing a reading, a message is reading on you versus them. Them meaning your person, um, him, her, they, co-workers, whoever the fuck, whoever's on your mind, okay? You're going to get some messages from them and then um, talk about what your energy and uh, give you some advice, alright? So if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe. Let's jump right into it, Aquarius. What do they want to say to you? Oh, toxic. I want you right now. I feel like this person feels um, ignored uh, with the toxic green and blue. They feel like they can't get through to you emotionally. Got success and abundance here. <clears throat> I feel like they want... <laughs> this sounds weird, Aquarius. I feel like they want something from you. I feel like they try to manipulate you, actually. Yeah, with that emotional shit. They manipulate you. <clears throat> with their emotions so I feel like they they want to like you know drop some type of information off in your lap but it really has nothing to do with you Aquarius but yeah they want to tell you something super it's like extreme hella toxic some type of drama or whatever um simply because they want all of your attention right now it's almost like someone throwing a temper tantrum um in order to gain some type of attention like that's their success you know what I mean as long as they can get you emotionally caught up into whatever the fuck they throw at you they know that you're going to give into that energy you're going to be available to them and cater to that need and um that's what they want that's what they want okay so right now um they want to tell you something super dramatic okay because they want you right now uh they want all your attention right now and apparently this is something that you usually give them um, usually fall into Aquarius so it's just like you know the same old you know regular degular they've been doing this shit to you <laughs> they're trying to do it again <clears throat> yeah I'm not ready I feel like they want to tell you that they're not they're not ready to commit they're not ready to you know really take anything seriously but they do want you it's almost like you know I don't really want to be in a relationship right now, but I don't want you talking to nobody else either, type of shit. That's the weirdo. <clears throat> they act real nonchalant. Okay, they have a, a sexual addiction, so maybe that's the reason they're not ready to lock it down right now, Aquarius. Uh, they want to tell you about that and see this toxic, extra dramatic ass information. This is what they want to come forward and tell you, like, yeah, you, you don't understand. Like, you know, I really am going through this. I really do crave it. Sex all the time on my mind. <laughs> this motherfucker is just all about it. And so, yeah, they're going to come forward and let you know. It's more so to kind of get you um, in your feels, though. Make you feel like, ooh, well, you going to fuck right now? Okay, shit. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> one more. Juice and gin. So I feel that they want to, you know, get you faded. They want to chill with you. They want to kick back with you right now, Aquarius. They're looking like, you know, this would be the perfect time to throw all my emotions off on Aquarius and get some dick, get some ass. You know, they just, they, they like to run away. Run away, love. They like to run away from their issues. And so they tend to, uh, you know, jump into or, you know, go towards like alcohol or whatever, some type of substance to give them some type of courage to let loose. And then they just, you know, they're all out there. And so I feel like they like to pull you into that energy because you got some type of, you know, whatever you putting on them, they really, really obsessed with that shit. And they're very really honest with themselves. They know that they're not ready for a relationship, but this motherfucker <laughs> let's see what you gotta say Aquarius ooh it's too much this one over here though can you make it juicy for me 
okay and then this is matched with this toxic energy so i feel that you yeah see you usually go in you usually take to like you fall right into that trap like they come giving you some messy ass juicy ass information aquarius and you you know you low-key love that shit like ooh, what tell me more what's tea bitch what's tea you know and they just like you know that's how they get you riled up that's their good time with you it's like ooh, all i gotta do is link up with aquarius aquarius about to get faded and yada yada, yada. Can I take you out tonight? You falling for it, Aquarius. You gonna you jumping right into this one. Because apparently they got maybe you fucking addicted to that shit too. Let's see. Mm, I miss the way you kiss me. <laughs> and this is what success and abundance exactly. So they end up getting their way every time they come to you. Aquarius, you won't believe what just happened. My baby daddy just, you know really tripped out on me i'm scared to go back home like and you'd be like oh okay well shit you can stay the night at the crib and shit and they like really you know it's all a plot they already knew to call you like they already wanted your your you know um that comfort they wanted that you know that touch they wanted to feel that companionship you know what i'm saying so even if they got the be toxic or throw you in some toxic shit they'll do it because they they really fuck with you on the lines of like you you make them feel great in horrible ass situations toxic situations <laughs> all right what else what she gotta say Aquarius <clears throat> yep I wanna fuck you right now yeah yeah y'all y'all got this nice like bundle of fucking going on like y'all don't give a fuck what's going on it's like we're so disrespectful <laughs> you motherfuckers disrespectful like y'all don't care if either, either you guys got boyfriend girlfriend none of that shit it's like i don't care about none of these niggas none of these niggas <laughs> look at this shit i'm really in love with you i feel like y'all y'all getting to a point or space where y'all willing to risk this shit risk it all like look the sex must really be good to have both of y'all uh, one of y'all addicted and one of y'all love you know, so it's like, ain't nobody going nowhere, <laughs> Aquarius, ain't nobody going nowhere, y'all both on this shit, tough, tough, one last one, uh oh, see, non-committal, non-committal, so I feel that that's the thing, like, I feel like you, you are possibly getting to a space, Aquarius, of wanting to take this shit a little more seriously, but I feel that you already know that it's not going to go, you know, like that. You know what I mean? It's like almost trying to live through the fantasy, go with the flow type of shit. But both of y'all know, like, this shit is not, you know, I, I can never call you my man. You can never call me your girl, you know But I'm saying? We, we really are tight and I will never want to lose who we have. So as long as we both on the same page, fuck, I don't give a fuck who you end up talking to none of that matters to me like you always gonna be my dog and i'm always gonna be here Hi, if you need me head ass <laughs> all right and so let me go ahead and get some advice for you guys see and then we're gonna close this out what is this chef chef i feel like this is beautiful guys um you know shit if i mean if y'all got boyfriends and girlfriends that is some toxic ass shit that's weird as fuck it's like why not just leave that relationship and be together but i know that that's not exciting for you guys right so you guys kind of like the sneaking and going like you know behind closed doors type shit my little secret head ass and so um i feel that the thing though is um because even in that song so disrespectful you're saying like you can take me to her favorite restaurant and shit don't do stupid shit like that aquarius if you sneaking and creeping and on the low or whatever or are you doing some shit that you don't want everybody to know about don't be like come on now don't take this motherfucker around your mama or everybody doesn't know who you really dealing with and all this shit like you know don't be messy don't be messy sloppy and shit all right be very uh particular about how you do your shit i really hope that it's not uh, anybody cheating on nobody like hopefully it's just more so like you know you've been single for a little while and now you're talking to somebody and you know y'all trying to just keep y'all shit low key so that it'll last you know what i mean so it's like make sure that you are not all out there taking uh the new chick to the places that you used to take your exes to and shit like that you know what i mean like do some whip up something like whip, it, whip up something um a little fresh a little different okay expand that palette <laughs> all right aquarius love you guys i'll see you next time